This system was ran and they didn't have anybody look at it for, I think it was like four or five years or something. The way that these filters are set up, we've got one that goes here and one that goes here. And so what happened was this filter here got kind of sucked up and out the way and then wasn't actively filtering anymore. And so the air just kind of went around it onto the top half of this coil. The bottom filter that was in here previously, these are not the filters, these are newer filters, uh, but the bottom filter that was in here did not, it, it stayed put. And so this bottom half got filtered. And if you come in here, here, I'll take it for a second. You can literally see it's, it's worn down to the refrigerant lines right there. Like I tried cleaning this for the customer. And I mean, this is, look, like that, that those are the fins. They, they just come right off. There's no saving this. Like we only have half of a use of a coil here. This is a commercial property. I told the property manager, I said, hey, we cannot do anything for this. We're gonna replace the filters. We can try and clean it. But in the long run, like this is gonna kill the compressor. And I actually don't even know for sure this compressor is dead, but he said about a month after we left it stopped working at the end of last summer. Now we're on the flip side. We're at the beginning of where it's April right now. And they've called us because he said, hey, last summer, I never called you, but the system did break again. Uh, he said, I don't even want you to diagnose it because there's no point in putting money into it. He said, just give me a quote to replace it. So that's why we're here. Um, the compressor is evidently not running. It also does, I mean, it has a brand new cap in it. And I put a cap in it when I was here last year. It's not the capacitor, I don't think, put in a turbo 200. There's no, we cannot, you cannot do anything for this system besides replace this coil. And on a R22 system like this, it's like, I mean, I guess we could recover and uh, replace the coil and put it back in. And if the customer wants to do that, we'll do it for him. Once your coil gets to this condition, I can cut, you can come see this one more time. You got, that. that's the pipe. Like, you, come, you, you look down here, we got nice fins still. If you look up here, uh, we, like that's that's piping. The fins are completely gone. There's we cannot clean this. This is this is completely toast. So this is what will happen to a coil generally if it runs completely unfiltered for I don't know a couple years. If you don't change your filter, the coil will ge generally stay in okay condition. Obviously, it's not good for it. It can still get dirty. Like it can suck around it. But the if you run your system completely unfiltered, which I've seen this probably a hundred times it will completely like it, it's unfixable so that's that if you like hvac videos stuff like this uh subscribe